like crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm. So now we've got the we've got the roof roof in position over here. So we've cut this much here out of the length of the roof. And now we're going to tack weld the roof. We, we're probably just going to tack weld everything until everything's final fit and then we'll come through and finish welding all the uh, major pieces. So on here we've taken the rear, the old rear rear window. We've sectioned it a couple of times and we move that through to the new front door. That'll be welded into place then. And then we've hand formed some interior pieces to follow the shape of the door. These all be welded together, welded inside the door. And then we'll use the old door top here. We've taken the four inches out of here. We'll put that back on, weld it. And then we're gonna fabricate a filler piece for here out of new metal. So now we've got to roll the rear fenders in to make it the body flow more. Cut through here and then you, we've got too much metal here so what we'll do we'll put a cut in here and fold the metal over and that'll be able to bring it back in. So what we'll do now we're going to put a, put a frame in for the back window to, uh, for the roof to support the roof. Then we're going to put another frame in to support the trunk lid and we've, we're going to cut the trunk lid in half and put it in and start positioning it. So the whole car will be framed in, in, in metal and then once all that's welded we'll make new, a new skin for the trunk and a new skin for the, across the back of the parcel tray here. So we're going to um, start welding the roof in now so it's fixed, we're happy with the position. We've still got to do a bit of shrinking on the edges but we're ha very happy with the roof line and uh, we'll start putting a frame in for that. So we'll get that first frame in and sit the um, sit the roof on that. Then we can tack, then we're going to tack this, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. These are very dangerous, so be very careful. Eye protection and ear protection. That's great from the, you know, from that, the overlap piece, if we start, if we just tack right across the top there. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, if you go from, where are we? There. Oh, you want to go every six inches and in, in yeah, between? Yeah, back, yeah. yeah cool. We'll just have a, we'll have a bit of a look at it, see if it's right. Yeah. Okay. We'll get that as good as we can. What's that, mate? We'll get that as good as we can to there and then we'll relieve it up high right on that curve. We want to relieve that now while we're here. While or... we're here, yeah. No. 
Yes, yes, yes. Let's cut that out. Be that, be that, or you're going to take no, this. No, let's go. No, go. Where? Mm -hmm. oh, that makes a hole. Yeah, I want to cut that bit out, eh? Yeah, we'll just get another, just get another one there. We'll do that later. Okay, let's do the other side. We'll have to probably pike up that again and bring that in in here because it's. Told you how high it is. Mate, you got it, didn't you? More. Just a bit like that. Yep. That's all you want. Bring these in. Or do you want to do that other door there? No, we'll position the boot, then we'll get this level. And once that's level, we'll, we'll tack weld this okay. to this. Because okay. this will probably cut through here and make a whole new inner structure once it's all yeah. squared up. That's probably as far as it's got to go there. Yeah, they're tight. Oh. The strength is in this bead on the edge, so yeah, it'll be right. I'll go my side first. Let's drop this one down. We've got to drop it. It's got to come down there. Okay. And this is the first time we've had that. See, that yeah. might have been pulling it over before. So let's drop at the height of the tape. No, we can release that. We'll just see what the height's in. That's what you wanted. Yeah, so you can probably bring yours up that... Oh, it won't matter, will it? No. Okay. Oh, this is going to go over the top of the boot. So this is the old trunk frame and we, we've made these pieces to extend it to make it almost four feet long when it's finished. That's uh, 1,200 centimetres. Millimetres. Millimetres. <laughs> oh, we've got to slide it backwards and forwards to get the centre. Okay, now let's get the other one in and we'll find the centre. And I'm, I'm on the yellow tape. Okay, on the yellow tape, or close enough again. Okay. So, I'm to check that middle. Yeah, we want a middle, and then we can roll this round. And this is the centre line. So, okay, so, Michael, that's perfect in the middle, right? That's on the old line, yeah. All good here. Success! We don't have to add any metal here. We've got enough metal to reach the old trunk. So, it's all good. That roof has to go down on your side. It's just got to touch that piece of steel there. See, it's, that, that's all it needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. We should check that. The level here. Are you going to uh, finish this bit here and shorten that trunk up? Like shorten the trunk up on the back? No, I think we'll get all this finished and the trunk opening and closing yeah. and then we'll finish that piece and do the beaver all at once. This, this area here we've got to concentrate on, don't we? We'll be ch we, need to, we need to start welding all this in place. So we need a level on the other side. Let's see if that's roughly the same. We've got about an inch and a half maybe. And then we'll bring that up, what, for half an inch? Yeah, we can bring it up as much as we like. Because the more we bring that up, the less fall we're gonna have. The more fall we're gonna have at the cost of that. Well, 
we're going to have to make up for this gap here. So we've got to bring them up. Uh, okay, bring it up. Half an inch around each side. Yeah, half an inch. Mil. Half an inch. You do your half. I've gone 20 mil and half the tape forward. It's almost like we know what we're doing. It's trial by error, I think. We, we say five millimetre in every car. We allow five millimetre on big gaps, but... As the car gets closer to finish, the gaps all get smaller and tighter. Have we got about like an inch and a half hanging off here? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, so we're just going to use this now. We're going to use this as a parcel shelf support. Yeah, and then later we'll cut it, you know, run braces down to the floor and all that, but that'll hold the shape of the roof in nice and tight, yep. give us something to weld to. Yeah, as long as we get a nice, yeah, once it's all done, as long as we get a nice flow, mm -hmm. it's going to look alright. Good thing. That's good, that's good, that. It's beautiful. That's good, we'll get that look perfect. Okay. Okay, so where, if you just go where that touches and we push it in a little, so we don't go too far with it. This will make it nice and solid, so when we do our sheet metal work, gives us something to hammer to, weld to and keeps the whole roof on a plane. Okay. Beautiful. What, what now? Now, we've got to get this one in place. Mm -hmm. That's next. So, that's the center line, isn't it? The center line there. So I'm on top of the tape here. And at the back. So I wonder if we... We still can roll it. I might just try rolling it down a bit more. Okay. A couple of screws. Do you think? Yeah. Screw that down. Yeah. But we need. Um, I'll just. We might clamp it before we screw it, and then just check the check the center of the whole car off this body line. That'll be the best way to do it. That way, the body lines don't lie in. How's that onto the metal? Um, halfway? No. Gotta be 10, nothing to 10 mil. Mm. This, this is exactly the same measurement, isn't it? Yeah. If I remember rightly, yeah. 85 yeah. or something? 85, yeah, 185. Mine is level with this. Mm, okay. So I can't see where we're getting it from. If the, both those sheets are, are the same. That's what's holding it. Now we should leave it across. What's going on there? Do your side first. Yep. How hard can it be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll run it through again. It'll be right. That's unbelievable. That's bloody beautiful. And we'll just take another measurement now. See ya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot better than I thought. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll shrink that. We can get in that hammer and dolly, it's easy. I'll just cut it through on an angle. Yeah, but we're gonna get through to the other side. So maybe we're going to have to cut it and then lift it up and do that. So I think now, if you, I'll get the oxy going, I'll weld these up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. No, I'll, I'll gas weld that if you want to go around and start probably work your way around with the clamps and just get a nice gap and every yeah. inch. Yeah. 
I reckon that's exactly the same. So we're going to go the inside of that line. Yeah. I think we just, if you wire weld that, and I'll just tack the edges. We've done well. We've done well. And we've we've saved the environment by using recycled metal. Okay. <clears throat> you happy with those uh, body lines? You're just going to run them into that too? Oh, I think whatever we'll just, if need be, we'll hammer them up and hammer them out. Or Right, okay. Then. I'll hold it there if you want to tamp it. Crack it. Yeah. We heat the metal and cool it. And it shrinks the metal. So it's too high here. There's a, I can feel a lump there. So I'm going to heat it. So I get the hammer and push it, push the metal into the center and then tap the center, tap the center down. I'll just, I'll just get it. I reckon that's almost bloody right, isn't it? This all looks the same. Are they the same length? Yep. Oh no, we know what we're doing now, we've done it.